Good morning, everyone. Thank you guys again for joining us to one more of the devotionals. Finally, Friday. And let's look today at Luke chapter 12, verse 2. We'll be reading just this one for today. Uh, we're going to read the King James like always, but there's always some other translations there. Uh, so it says, For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. And this is the words of, of Jesus coming. Uh, the NLT says, The time is coming when everything that is covered up will be revealed, and all that is secret will be made known to all. And, you know, the, the, this verse, it pretty much tells us that we cannot hide anything from God. We cannot hide anything. You know, time and time again, we find in the scriptures, God giving opportunities to Israel for repentance before openly exposing their sins, right? God always, God's always merciful. The Bible says that he's long suffering. He's very patient. He puts up with a lot of our, you know, of our disobedience and stuff and, and you know he 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 always you know if you're going to a church you know and you're in sin I'm sure the Lord's speaking to you you know I'm sure the Lord's using your pastor to tell you a few things here and there the things that you're doing God's giving you time to repent God's giving us time to repent I've been there a lot of times really because we all sin we all sin we're all sinners saved by grace but but yeah I mean we see it with Israel time and time again in the Old Testament and. You know, but yeah, same thing is uh, it's with us today. You know, he he first gently deals with us. You know, again by showing us through his word. You know, when we're reading or or through preaching, and then but at some point, you know, he must he if we don't repent at some point, he must actually address the issue openly. So sometimes, many times, uh, the only way that we all understand is if we if we get kind of uh, embarrassed or put in the spot kind of thing you know and uh you know because i've seen this happen you know a few times but you know one one is too many where god gives people the opportunity to make things right you know but instead they refuse and after some time the whole situation is uncovered i've seen that with my own youth group you know we knew of a certain guy that he was doing some things that he shouldn't be doing and we knew and and god had shown us a couple of things and you know well, he wouldn't stop he wouldn't repent and you know he just everything just ended up you know boiling up and whole mess happened but god is god is like that you know god is patient but he ultimately if we stay in that sin we'll, we'll go to hell and god doesn't want that god will do whatever he can whatever he can to make sure that we don't end up in hell and if that is to expose our sin, then he's going to expose our sin. But he does it for a good cause. You know, it may not look like a good cause at the beginning, but he does it always for a good cause. You know, he won't do it to embarrass us. But but as everything else that he allows in our lives, it is for our own good. You know, as a caring father that he is, he has to correct us when we sin. You know, if he doesn't, that same sin is, again, it's ultimately going to destroy us and and you know he he knows better than anyone else you know so if you're feeling like god is pushing you and leading you towards repentance you know just obey the call of god you know just obey the call of god the bible says right here we just read it the time is coming when everything that is covered up will be revealed nothing the bible says that the eyes of the lord in in the evil and in the good you know he sees everything he sees our good deeds but as much as he sees our good deeds he's gonna see our our sins he's gonna see our bad deeds you know, one is not greater than the other, but still, you know, it's something that we should be be striving for to make sure that we are right before him and that, you know, we're doing our part. He's he's too good for us to us for us not to be doing that the same thing back to him. And um, but that'd be it for today, guys. Uh, that'd be it for the week. Actually, today's Friday. And uh, again, keep, keep on helping us uh, sharing this, sharing the Facebook page. Liking the Facebook, the Facebook page if you can. And um, we'll see you guys again in a few days, hopefully. God willing. All right, guys. See you guys later. Goodbye.